Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our base map creator in our FT Manager software. So when we start to do our tuning process, we have to have a base map that we're gonna to load to our fuel tech controller that's gonna get us started to get our engine fired up and begin our tuning process. In order to do that, you have to know a whole bunch of details about your vehicle. So you have to know the number of cylinders, the cam and crank pattern, uh, what kind of fuel you're gonna be using, what size injectors you're gonna be using. So there's a whole bunch of things that we need to account for. Now, the FT Manager software is gonna allow us to create a base map using a base map wizard in the software. It's going to make the process really simple. We have to know a whole bunch of things and put the proper details in. And even after we've programmed all the details, there's going to be things that we might want to go back in and change. So I'm going to go through the entire process with you in the video so you can get comfortable with this and be able to create a base map for your race vehicle. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at creating our base calibration file with our FT Manager software. It's actually a really simple process. Let's jump in here and go into our icon, open up the software so we can get started. So we'll give it a second here. It takes about 5-10 seconds for the software to boot up. Now when the software opens up, we're going to be greeted with that screen we have pop up here. Um, in this video, we're going to click on our new map feature. You find that the other icons here will allow us to do other features or functions, but we'll go here to new map. The new map is going to start us in our map options in our base map generator. So let's go through here and take a look at all of our different tabs and talk about some things and what we might want to turn on and have configured for our base calibration. We'll first find here ECU model. Now I have it set here on FT600. That's the controller that I'm using. So depending if you're using a 450, 500, 550, or 600, you're going to make sure you select it on that controller. So the file is going to be uh, set up for that controller you're working with. Now under the fuel tables, we'll find here that the fuel tables are going to be opening up and generating pretty much all of the tables that we have available. We can add some additional tables here. We want to go and turn on our O2 closed loop. That's going to be something we absolutely want to use in our tuning process. Now our gear change compensation is probably not going to be needed. That's going to allow us to add fuel if we're using a flat shift feature or the full throttle shift. And then the gear base compensation. This is something um, if you don't have your vehicle speed sensor wired into your uh, fuel tech controller and you're not going to be able to calculate your gear position or uh, actually looking at gear position sensor, you may not want to go ahead and check this. Gear based compensation isn't necessarily a bad thing to have toggled on. It gives us some flexibility to add some fuel uh, in the different gears. So we'll find on the lower gears it's going to run a little leaner compared to the higher gears. That's going to be for any kind of car. So having this toggled on here might be worthwhile, so we'll keep it on. For ignition tables, we'll find our gear based compensation. It's going to allow us to pull spark.